channel. Today our topic is about how to find the square root without using calculator. Now our first example is how to find the square root of 2. We have step 1. We are going to use the so-called uh, squaring of a number. Our estimate first is the square of 1 is equals to 1 times 1 equals 1 and the next is 2 times 2 equals 4 since hinahanap natin yung 2 in between sa san 1 and 4 so ang mas malapit ay yung 1 sa square root kasi yung base yung sagot sa square root ang base nitong uh, exponential form is 1 ang base nitong 4 is 2 Pag kinuha natin ito, mas mataas. So, dapat mas mababa dito sa 2. So, the answer is 1. Then, multiply. 1 times 1 equals 1. Then, minus 2 minus 1 equals 1. Then, next step is borrow. Dito sa square root, kailangan natin dalawa yung borrow na, ng 0. Sa normal division, tag-iisa lang baro natin. This time, dalawang zero ang ibabaro natin. Tapos, if we bring down natin yan, magiging 100. Ngayon, i-divide natin. The problem, what is the divisor? Oh, the divisor, to find the divisor, we're going to add the quotient. 1, plus 1 equals 2. So, ito ngayon ang ating magiging divisor. 2. Then, hanap tayo ng uh, digit na pag-multiply natin, dapat hindi susubra sa 100. So, mag estimate tayo ngayon. So, estimate natin. For example, it becomes 23 times 3 equals 9, 69 lang. Let's try 24 times 4. 16, kailan, oh, 96. So, mas malapit ito. Since malapit ito, ang sagot natin ngayon dito ay, di ba, sorry, is 4. Then, ang magiging final answer natin dito ay 4. Pag multiply natin dito, magiging 96. Minus, 100 minus 96 is 4. Ngayon, ang susunod, repeat na yung process natin. Baro na naman tayo ng 0. We bring down natin dito. Then, hanap na naman tayo ng divisor. So, repeat na natin yung itong process na to, finding the divisor ulit. So, ngayon, plus natin ang sagot natin ng 4 sa divisor na 24. Magiging 28. So, 28 na ngayon dito ang ating divisor. Hanap na naman tayo ng digit na pag-multiply natin, dapat ay eksakto dito sa 400. Ngayon, for example, nalagay natin dito ay 4 times 800 na. So, ilang 200 80 meron sa 400, so maaaring isa lang. So, ang ating inalagay dito is 1. So, sagot natin ay 1, then 200, multiply 1, 281. Minus natin, 10 minus 1, 9. 9 minus 8 is 1. 4 minus 2 is Ang nagbaro tayo dito, magiging 3 na lang to. 3 minus 2 is 1. Diba? Okay. Then, next, uh, balik ulit tayo, finding the divisor. So, 281, i-plus naman natin yung sagot. So, magiging 282. Hanap na naman tayong digit. Tapos dito, last natin ay magbabaro tayo ng 0, pang-6, yung last. Bring down naman natin dito. 7,900 divided by 282. Isipin natin kung ano ilalagay natin dito ang digit sa so mag-estimate tayo. 
So, pag nag tayo, titignan natin itong 11 at saka 2. 11 divided by 2 is 5. Uh, possible. So, 5 times 8, 4. So, 14,000. So, so, sobra yung 5. So, maybe 4. Find the divisor. We have 282. Ang estimate natin is 4 times 4. We have 16, carry 1. 9, 32, carry 3, 8, plus 3, 11. So, we have 11,000, so possible. So, kasi possible yan, this is 4. 4 din ang sagot natin. Then, lagay natin yung, multiply natin 4 times 280, 2,824, equals 11,296. Then, minus 10 minus 6, 4, 9, minus 9, 0, 8 minus 2, 6, okay, 604. So, anong ngayon gagawin natin dito sa, sa remainder? Pag ang remainder, less than, less than one half of the divisor, ang kalahati ng divisor natin is 1,000 plus. So, hindi siya maabot. So, disregard na to. Our final answer, 1.414. Okay, check natin kung tama yung sagot natin. So, we're going to multiply. Uh, 1.14 times 1.14. 4 times 4, 16, care 1. 4 times 1, 4 plus 1, 5. 4 times 4 is 16. Carry 1, 4 times 1. It's 4 plus 1, 5. Then ito, copy lang. 4, 1, 4, 1. So, let's sagot natin ay 6, 5, 6, 5. Then, 4, 1, 4, 1. So, we're going to add. 6, 9, 13, 1, 5 plus 5, 10, 18, 19, 1, 9, 9, 1. So, yung decimal, count natin yung sa kanan. Mga digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Point. So, therefore, round off. So, our final answer, our checking is equals to 2. Equivalent to our radicand. So therefore now our final answer for the square root of 2 is 1.414. Number 2 example is square root of 12. So we have to solve what is the square root of 12. Uh, again, first step, we, uh, kailangan natin mag by squaring. So 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16. So pasok lang sa 3 times 3 equals 9. 3 times 3 equals 9 minus equals 12 minus 9 is 3. Next, sa uh, baro, kailangan dalawa mitsiro ibabaro natin. Sa so, normal division ay isa lang ang binabaro. Ngayon, since square root, dalawang siro ibabaro natin. So, maglalagay tayo ng points sa taas. Then, bring down 0. 300 now. So, nag-iisip tayo kung ano ang divisor dito. Pa-plus lang natin to 3 plus 3 equals 6. May nag-iisip tayo ng digit. So, halimbawa, 60. 0 dito, 60. Or 61, 62. So, ilang uh, 60 meron sa 300. So, mag-iisip tayo ngayon. Para sa divisor, try natin ay 4. So, kung 4 dito, magiging 64 times 4. Estimate natin 4, ah. 4 times 4 equals 16, carry 1. 4 times 6 equals 24 plus 1, 256. So, possible. So, lagay dito sa tapat ng 0. Sagot natin ay 4. Lagay din 4 sa divisor. Then, multiply. The answer is 256 minus... 10 minus 6 is 4, 
9 minus 5 is 4. Okay, 44. The answer is 44. Next is another 0. Pangalawang, dalawang 0 baro. Then, another divisor. Divisor 64 plus 4 equals 68. Maghanap na naman tayo ng digit sa so possible 6 or 700. Uh, 4,400. So, ilan? So, kung 4 ito, uh, 6 ito, 6 times 4, 24. So, you have to begin to estimate. So, for example, our answer is estimated is 6 times 4 is 24. Okay, for example, you have 6, 8, 4 times 4 equals 16, carry 1, 32, 33, carry 3, 24, 27. Ang layo pa. Other estimate called 6, 8, 6 times 6, 6 yung ating other estimate nito. Okay, 6 times 6 equals 36, carry 3, 6 times 8 is 48. Plus 3, 51, carry 5. 6 times 6, 36, plus 5, 41. Okay? So, possible. Answer here is 6. And divisor 6. Multiply equals 4, 1, 1, 6. Then minus 4,400 minus 4,116. Then, 4, 9, 3, 9, minus 1, 8, 3, minus 1, 2. Then, magbabaro ni tayo ng 0. Okay, dalawa ang 0, bring down. Estimate natin, 6 times 4, 24. Okay, dito tayo nag-estimate. Uh, try natin na uh, 4. 6, 6, 8, uh, 6, 9, 2, times 4, times 4, 16, carry 1, 4 times 8 plus 1, 9, 4 times 4, 36, carry 3, 24 plus 3, 27. Okay, possible. Or, okay, yung sagot natin dito, multiply equals 27,696. Then minus, 10 minus 6, 4, 9 minus 9 is 0. Then 3, 13, Minus 6 is 7. So, 7 of 4, uh, itong exist na to, kailangan dito ay 1 up of the divisor para makapag plus 1 tayo sa sagot. Since ang difference dito ay less than, less than 1 half of the divisor, disregard na to. Wala na to. So, our final, now, our final answer is 3.4. Six or okay. Thank you very much for your listening. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.